Devastation in Morocco after a powerful 6.8 magnitude earthquake about 70 kilometers outside of Marrakesh late Friday. So far, more than 2,700 people are confirmed dead and rescuers are racing against time to search for survivors. Suriya Otmani is Morocco's ambassador to Canada. Hi, Ambassador. Thank you so much for making time for our program this evening. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you to you too. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, you know, on behalf of so many Canadians who are watching, how sorry we are for, for everything that's unfolded since Friday evening in Morocco. Could, could you share with our viewers uh, the latest information on, on how things are going there right now? Uh, yes, for sure. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you uh, for uh, your interest in uh, the situation in Morocco. In fact, uh, we are really uh, going through uh, difficult times. As you can imagine, after uh, an earthquake, uh, a such powerful earthquake that uh, happened last Friday evening, and of course with the uh, a huge amount of uh, human losses, uh, now reaching uh, 2,800 uh, person that died, and of course the uh, number also of uh, injured people, uh, 2,500. And still, uh, I mean, this amount will be still on the rise mm -hmm. in the uh, forthcoming day, that's for sure. Since the uh, uh, people, uh, rescuing people are still uh, working very hard uh, to try to find some uh, uh, survivors and also try to uh, uh, get, uh, get out uh, the, uh, the, uh, the injured people uh, under the rubble. So, you know, it's a kind of uh, uh, tough times, but uh, uh, all the uh, uh, population, all the uh, authorities in Morocco are uh, mo fully mobilized. They try to help as much as they can. And of course, there is, uh, uh, the, uh, there is a, a crisis unit, uh, many crisis units all over the, uh, the country. And uh, also, yeah, the head of state, His Majesty the King, is following mm -hmm. on a daily basis all the evolution of the situation. Uh, international aid is uh, getting organized. And uh, what was really difficult uh, 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 to address was the fact that uh, the earthquake happened in uh, uh, mountain uh, mountain areas yes. very high I mean, it was uh, like 70 kilometers from Marrakesh and uh, in high mountains and uh, uh, many villages uh, and uh, 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 many villages uh, uh, were of course were down because of the earthquake and also the access to the villages yeah, that are very, very high in the mountains, right. where the roads to these villages was blocked by uh, stones, you know, heavy yeah. stones and rocks and that have fallen down due to right. the earthquake. And, and Ambassador, pardon the interruption, I, I don't mean, I just wanted to ask specifically about that though, because yeah. I know that the area, the epicenter of the earthquake is, is, is right in the mountains. I was Absolutely. listening to someone today describe what that area is like. It's certainly very hard to get to and in and around in the best of times. But how limited, how difficult is it, I guess? How great the challenge is there to get yeah, aid a, to that region right now? Yeah, it's a huge challenge because, you know, when you want, uh, you uh, even in normal time, to have access to these uh, mm -hmm. uh, mountainous areas, uh, the, the road are very narrow. And you know they are not easy because they are there are a lot of, of, of curves and then it's high it's uh, you know so it is uh, very challenging and then when you have stones falling down falling down on the road then you have to wait uh, for the stones to be removed completely removed and nobody could could do that except the uh, the uh, uh, Moroccan authorities that are in charge. Of uh, of this kind of uh, of um, uh, I mean uh, of yeah yes. yeah absolutely and, and yeah. when you, when you mention international aid I, I certainly know there will be a number of people watching tonight and I've read about all the various countries who are, are starting to mobilize some of that who want to help when what kind of aid is is most needed right now uh, you know uh, I think that. We, uh, we are right now uh, quite well organized. 
since, I mean, uh, the potential that we have already in Morocco, like, uh, because Morocco is, you know, we are uh, used to, uh, to face uh, 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 earthquake. It's not the first one. It's not the second one. We are on a on a seismic zone, and then, but the, this one was really powerful. So it was really a powerful earthquake. It was described like having uh, uh, the the uh, the um, uh, the uh, the powerful of uh, nuclear, like twenty nuclear bombs. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. It was really something very, very, very. Uh, high, very powerful, very shaking. And then, uh, so we have a kind of experience. And of course, we have got the um, uh, support of many uh, countries, many uh, uh, friend, uh, friendly country. And uh, so they, they, uh, uh, they, they brought their uh, expertise, like with uh, uh, dogs that are uh, uh, capable of finding people under the ruins, you know, and uh, so they brought also kind of uh, logistic uh, uh, that is uh, uh, that is uh, that we that we can use uh, on these difficult times, and uh, also now uh, people are getting tents, they are getting food, they are getting water, they are getting shelters, they are getting medicines, and of course all the uh, injured people. They are removed and taken to the hospitals. Okay, Ambassador, I'll leave it there. We're certainly thinking of uh, everyone in Morocco. Thank you for sharing your time with us this evening. Uh, thank you so very much for your interest. Thank you. Thank you.